Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Michelle from Michelle My Bell. Um, today I am bringing you a flip through of my latest journal. I made this one when I was visiting my sister in Niagara Falls. Uh, it took me quite a while to do it. Um, it is filled with lace and ribbon and all sorts. It's quite chunky. Um, it measures on the spine three and a half this way and the length of the book is seven and a half. Oh, by five and a quarter. Um, I guess you could call it birdie darling, just seeing as that's what's on the on the the front picture. Um, I've put a, a doily on the front and half over the spine was an off-white doily and then I've inked it up a little bit and the um, the download file that I used for this was from Artsology on Etsy and I believe it was called Garden Beauty um, so that's the cover this I've used uh, an upholstery piece of material from the set from a sample book that I have um, I can see it better on this side. And then let's get started. So on the inside I've made, um, again this is from Artsology. I've put some lace down the side and there is a journal card in here that I've made. Um, this paper here that I've used, this peach colored paper, um, is actually from the Dollar Tree. Um, as well as this blue paper. Um, they have those packs of cut up pieces of different kinds of paper, different colors, and that's what I've used here. I've used quite a bit of that in, in this journal. And then I also downloaded, and I can't remember which site I downloaded these from. It might have been Artsology as well, I just can't remember. Um, but it's the Mason Jars uh, journaling card I've put the lined cards on the cardstock on the back. And then just some plain pages. And then this here is a pocket. There's another journaling card inside. This was a paper bag that I that I had put put in and I covered both the sides uh, with this music note paper. Uh, here I have a journaling card and some coins that I've tied together with some lace. There's three coins there and this journaling card. And the flower on the front is out of a book that I, uh, that I had purchased and each page had pictures of uh, different scenes, scene, scenes and scenery and stuff like that. And then there's a, a thing from the Bible in there. And then this page here is a one, two, three, four, five, six pockets. So I've got journaling cards. I won't pull them all out um, here. This is a little booklet that I made. I will take this one out. A little note, little notebook that I've made and I've inked up. Another journaling card that I made here. And this one is a tag, also from that same book I was just talking about. And I've got some ribbon on there. And another mason jar. That one's a bit tough to get in and out. And then I also made um, a pocket in between the two pages, which has this inside of it. It's just another journal card to write on. And it has the little tag at the top. can't remember what, what, the, what it's called. I'll just put that there for now. And then I have some ledger paper. 
my tag fell out. And then there's two tags here. There's a, a large tag. And again, I've cut this out from the Artsology here to make the pocket. And then just a small page here, which is just cardstock. This is braille paper here. And in here, I've made a little file folder. This is also from Artsology. And a piece of um, kind of like tracing paper. I think it's a little bit thicker than tracing paper, but it's uh, very much like tracing paper. There's another folder here. There's just a little tuck spot down here, which I oh, you can't quite see that. There's a little tuck spot down here, which is also cut out from one of the, the pages from Artsology. Another file folder. And this is the paper behind it. Oh, and I've made a like a little cluster down here. And then put lace on the side. This is another page from Artsology. Here's a map. Another journaling card that I've put together. And that's a pocket from the map. I just folded it over before I put it in. Then there is the uh, checked paper here, and just a little cluster that I made. Um, a cluster pocket that I made, and a little tag to go in there. Well, it's actually a little tuck spot, it's not really a pocket. Um, and another piece of kind of off white paper with a. Oh, it's completely lost my mind what these are called. Just out of my mind. And then this is the center piece of paper here. This was a handmade piece of paper out of a package that I had bought. You'll see a little bit more of that in the future. I haven't quite finished. I was going to put some beads on the center strings here. So I just have that left to do um, for each signature. And then this is pretty much just, well, this is just the other sides of the the signature. And here's a large folder, also from Artsology. Oh no, it's not a folder, it's uh, but the paper is from Artsology. In the back of it I put one of the, well, I call them cue cards, one of the very large cue cards. For some reason it's not wanting to go back in. There we go. And then here is um, a little envelope, also from the, the pack that I downloaded, and two little cards inside. Oh, you can't really see that. And then I've just tucked that in. Another piece of the tracing paper, another tag. My sister and I did some um, mixed media tags that we made together. Um, and this is one of the ones that I made and then I put this the ribbon on and another piece of a cue card so it could be written on and this is for out of a magazine um, I think the words are out of a magazine and just other stuff that's been put together in there I did some stamping on it and that's just a little pocket I'm just plain on this side more braille paper and lace a long pocket here with a tag in it just to be able to write on. I haven't put anything on the top of that. Um, ledger paper, another tag in a pocket. And here's another pocket here with a little tag in it. This was the other side of the paper bag, so I've covered it with Artsology uh, Garden Beauty paper. Um, i put a tag inside. made. And yeah, as you can see, that's the paper bag. I'll just leave that out. And that's the other side that I've covered. It's quite a big book. 
and some more lace on here, just cardstock. And then here's another uh, tuck spot that I've made with a journaling card. And this is the start of the second signature here. So I've just I've inked all around the edges, um, used a piece of uh, paper under here with some ribbon, and this uh, this lady. And then there is uh, lace. Here's some more of that handcrafted paper. And this, um, it came with these little, um, I'm not really sure what you call them, but they're like the tops of little arrows. And I've put them all, as you can see, I'll just take all these out. I put one, two, three, four of them in there. And then in each one I have tucked in a little file folder that I created from the Artsology paper and a ticket and they just tuck in like so and then there's three more to go in. Here is another uh, pocket and a, and a folder, a file folder that can be written in. tracing paper, a tag with some ribbon on it, this is the map, um, quite a few tags in here, there's a flag, some coins down here, uh, two coins, and a journal card, well a tag that can be used as a journal card. Another mason jar in a tuck spot. This one also says Birdie Darling. And there is lace down the side. Another uh, tuck spot with the tag. And another journaling card that I made out of the same book that I spoke about earlier. Ledger paper. And here's another pocket. And two uh, tags. And then this is um, a cluster that I made into a pocket. So there is a small little journaling card there. And then a larger one in here that I've made. And this is using the Artsology paper. And this is music paper. And on this side it's in a pocket with a cluster and in the cluster there's a little tuck spot for the uh, tag and then this one I also use this is the Dollar Tree paper that I use and I just used a, um, a stencil and I inked it and it's just a journal card and on this page there's another tag inside this little tuck spot and down here there's a little little tuck spot as well. Here as well, this is another one of the mixed media tags that I made. And then of course the, the lace on the end there. And that goes in there. And then here I've made a, a cluster pocket or tuck spot with a, a journal card in there and lace. Another mixed media tag that I had made. And there's some the ribbon on the top. side of the, the paper, the music paper. Uh, here's another journaling card. This is a Tim Holtz um, die cut out of one of his packages. That's the two birds. More ledger paper. Um, this is 
I can't remember what this is from. Um, it was just from an old book anyways. I can't remember what kind of book it was, unfortunately. <laughs> But it's just an, an, an old magazine type book that I pulled that out of. Um, this is another of the mason jars in a pocket. And some more of this paper. Another journal card that I've made. And that was a piece of paper from the Dollar Tree as well. From those packages. And there's some lace. Some tracing paper. Another pocket here and a uh, another journal card that can be written on. You can put pictures on it, do whatever you want. Here's another little um, flag in a little tuck spot that I made from a cluster. Lace on the side. Here's a tuck spot on the top. And in here I've put a little, another little booklet that I've put together. And that I've inked up. And some more of this uh, children's paper that they use to learn how to print and, and write on. And just some more paper. And this is the other side of the handmade paper. And just some cardstock and some lace. And that's the end of the second uh, signature. And this is the beginning of the third. This one also says Birdie Darling. Um, I've done a little bit of inking on the page. And here is some more lace. And this is another mixed media card or uh, tag that I made. If you can see that, there's lots of stamping and magazine cutouts and um, all sorts of stuff that I've done to it. And that's a little, little tuck spot for it. And this here is another one of the Tim Holtz um, die cuts. It's a it's a bunch of flowers together. Some tracing paper. It's getting all tangled up here. And I made this mason jar into a tag, so it has some ribbon on the top, and it's just in a little tuck spot on the braille paper, and lace on the edge. Then here I've made two tag spots. And in hindsight, I should have had them on this side. It just would have flowed better with the book, and it would have been um, would have laid down easier, I believe. Um, these are two mixed media ones that I made. I believe I made six altogether. So this is probably the last of them. And this is one tag. And here's the other one. And the. Uh, fibers that I used on that one. And here is some more ledger paper with a bit of ink on it. A uh, piece of paper. This is uh, just a smaller piece of uh, cardstock here with a, a belly band and then a little top spot in there. This is also um, a paper bag here and I've cut this flower out of uh, I think it was in a magazine, and there is some newspaper and some fibers on here just to decorate it, and it's been inked inside as a journal card, or two journal cards. I haven't decorated these two cards yet. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it since I've been back. I've uh, just been busy. We're planning on moving in April, so we've been busy around the house trying to get things done, um, painting and all that sort of stuff, so I've been kind of kind of busy. So these three just need to be, you know, put some stuff on them and decorate them so they look nice. And this one too. This is the back side of the paper bag. I've used the Artsology paper. Artsology paper down here from the Garden Beauty pack. And there's a journal card in here and some lace. And this is another journal card. And this is another piece of um, the handmade paper. And this is where I'm going to be putting some more beads. And there is another journal card and some more Artsology paper, cardstock, and some more of this children's paper. 
lots of places to journal in this book. And this is a map on both sides. This is just cardstock. And this is a handmade envelope that I made. There's a little button on it, and inside is a uh, journaling card. And this is the other half of the paper bag. I've um, sort of did a uh, collage with the newspaper and then put some flowers and a butterfly and a larger butterfly and then I've tucked uh, it's dried into the glue a little bit. Oh dear. I didn't realize that had happened. I'll have to get that out after. It's just the very corner is, uh, oh, there it goes. Oh, it's torn. I'm going to have to put a new card in there. Um, it just tore at the corner there, but I can make a new one. That's no big deal. Or I can just cut it off here and ink the, the edge again. But that just tucks in here. And there is a card on the side. That's a little pullout. And this is the back of the bag. Some more paper, ledger paper, and uh, the braille paper, and more lace, and that is the last page. And this is just the the back of the book, and this is the uh, upholstery sample that I used. And that's everything. That is the whole book. I hope you enjoyed looking through that with me. Um, it's quite a big chunky book. I think the biggest one I've, I've made so far. Um, and like I said, I hope you enjoyed looking at it with me. Um, I would appreciate any comments or anything like that that you want to write below in regards to this journal. That would be awesome. Just some feedback. And that is everything. Have a wonderful Saturday and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.